family and friends are preparing to say goodbye to Arnie Boyd. He's a man who was killed in the one vehicle wreck on Tuesday that shut down part of the McFarland Boulevard Bridge. The story is first at 10 tonight in a WVUA News exclusive. Chelsea Barton sat down with Gary Youngblood, who was one of the last people to see Boyd alive. I got to, got to know Arnie a lot better when he got old enough to a truck. And he asked a lot of questions and I didn't have many answers, but I liked to talk and he liked to talk. Gary Youngblood says Arnie Boyd was a man the entire community could count on. I could list a, a dozen things that personally I knew he did for our community. I, that was just kind of person he was. I, I imagine there's dozens of people that, that Arnie helped without him expecting any pay, he, he know that people appreciated it. In all of his years of knowing Boyd, Youngblood tells WVUA his friend was one of the safest drivers on the road. He just kind of eases along and, uh, you know, I don't, I don't have any idea what happened, but I, I would be, uh, I'd be shocked if it was driver's error that, that created the accident. Youngblood was one of the last people to see Boyd alive. Tuesday afternoon, he, he loaded his last load and, and I waited on him to get off the scale. And uh, he waved and smiled when he was getting in a truck. And uh, I'd, I'd no more gotten home and heard, heard the accident. But uh, he was, he's a loving person. Uh, and he comes from a family of loving people. It's the saddest thing it, that I could think about that could happen uh, just just to be gone in, uh, in this little while. Visitation for Arnie Boyd will be held from at 1 p.m. tomorrow at Memory Chapel Funeral Home on Skyland Boulevard. The funeral will also be held there shortly following. Live in the studio tonight, I'm Chelsea Barton for WVUA News.